Hello again, Guardians, and welcome back to the channel for another Destiny 2 episode. Now, before we get started and begin, every single week, I like to do a giveaway for my subscribers, so thank you guys for the support. Alongside this, I'm giving away three copies of Destiny 2, so if that may interest you, and you'd like to enter in for any of those giveaways, the details are on the screen. Pause the video, read the instructions, and enter in for the giveaways. Now, to get into the Destiny 2 information of this video, we are going over the five things that will make Destiny 2 greater than the first Destiny game. Now, the sequel is going to be, as of right now, in my opinion, way better than the first Destiny. And since I played over 2,000 hours on the first Destiny, I'm really excited for Destiny 2. And I'm probably going to spend even more time in Destiny 2 moving forward because I am a full-time YouTuber and I play Destiny religiously on this channel, might I add. So I'm really excited to just mention the five things that I feel will make Destiny 2 10 times better, if not 100 times better, than the original Destiny. Starting off with number 1. The main thing that many people will conclude from Destiny 2 to Destiny is the story. The story is going to be probably 10 times, maybe even 100 times, maybe even a million times better than the original Destiny game. As we know, Vanilla Destiny was kind of cut and dry. And going through the story, we had a lot of dead ends. We also had a lot of information given to us, but a lot more information wasn't given to us. And it kind of left us in a state of question. What's going on? What is this? What is that? Main reasons here, what the hell is the Traveler? Where the hell did it come from? Why is it helping us? Or is it even here to help us? Who the Stranger is? What the Darkness is? Where or who the Darkness came from? This is all just questions that even Bungie didn't really know how to answer. And they're trying to fix that. They're trying to pull in all of these resources now, and they're trying to give us an explanation moving into the future of the Destiny franchise, which is really nice. From what we've seen so far, the Destiny story for Destiny 2 looks 10 times better than the original Destiny experience in Vanilla Destiny, and I can't wait to see what else they throw at us coming into the story. There's a lot more content moving into Destiny 2, so I'm really excited to see the life of the game. And I'm really excited to see what they do in the expansions in the future as well. Because the expansions are like the Taken King expansions. And we have a ton of content to go over on this channel, just revolving around Destiny 2. Number 2. The new class structure. The new class structure is going to be very unique. We're getting rid of self-res warlock, which will allow guardians to no longer be able to self-res after they die, which gets rid of a lot of the players that relied on self-res. So, relying on self-res is no longer the case. So you'll actually have to learn your classes, you'll have to be good at the game, learn how to survive, and all players will have to learn how to survive. No longer will you have self-res. So, warlocks, you're out. I'm sorry. I love Warlock, but no more self-res. Alongside this, a lot of the supers and class structures are actually built around roaming supers. As we all know, the Defender Titan ended up turning into the Captain America. They can actually throw their shield as a weapon, or they can use it to defend themselves and their allies, which is really cool. It creates like a barrier in front of you. Also, the additional abilities that Guardians have now, along with their melee and their grenade, they have a third ability that they can proc every 10 to 15 seconds depending on your cooldown rate and that's really useful as well. The Titans can create a wall or barrier and if you have an entire team of Titans you could actually use this to your advantage in the Crucible. I'm really excited to see how people play with their new class structures but the Blade Dance has been reworked into the Pole Dancer which is a Blade Dancer with a staff. Really unique, close range combat but the super, I believe, lasts slightly longer than the Blade Dancer, and I believe all supers are now roaming supers, which is very unique, because every super will be very viable in the Crucible, and probably anywhere else in the game. Moving on to number three, the Cabal Raid. Something that everyone's been waiting for. Now, I do believe that Bungie will put in another Fallen Raid. I feel like they're going to put in another Hive Raid. I also feel like they'll put in another Vex Raid. Vex Raids are very popular after the Vault of Glass. It's one of the best raids ever created in Destiny's franchise. And moving in further than that, the Fallen Raid has been pretty successful as well. So I feel like they'll do that. But the only thing that has never actually been created 
is a Cabal Raid. Cabal Raid is something that the Guardians have been waiting for for a very long time. And now that they're actually creating that and adding that into Destiny 2, a lot of people are really excited for that. And that makes Destiny 2 a great game. Because the suspense, the excitement, a lot of players are going to jump on board just to play the Cabal Raid. And a lot of people, are they, they've been waiting for it for so long that I just, I'm really excited. Personally, my opinion, I can't wait. I know it's going to be a pain in the ass because, in my opinion, the Cabal are complete jerks, especially with the new types of Cabal that are available in the Destiny 2 experience. The sniper phalanxes, the, the, the sniper scions, the new shields, the new structures, everything, especially those dogs. The war beasts, man, the war beasts are going to be dicks. And coming into a raid, even more of a dick. But, it's alright. It's alright. Destiny 2. We can't have Destiny 2 without a couple of enemies that we hate, right? So, moving into number 4. 4v4 Crucible. Now, in my top 5 things that would have made Destiny bad, this was one of those options. I wanted to give the double point of perspective on this one, okay? So, a 4v4 game modes across all boards might be a bad thing. You're removing Rumble, you're removing a couple other things like 3v3 Trials of Osiris, but you're making way for a competitive scene for the competitive players, and you're making a way for people to control Crucible for those non-competitive players, making it even across the board. Making everyone a standard game mode of 4v4 makes a simplistic version of Crucible. That way, if you do have problems with weapons in Crucible or ability balancing, you can balance all of those things with ease without having to worry about the other game modes. With this, I believe a lot more hatred towards Crucible is going to start to lower and lessen with the months to come. When Destiny 2 launches, I feel like a lot more people are going to enjoy Crucible than previously before. And if anything does come up to where it's overpowered in Crucible, or if it's underpowered in Crucible, it's a lot easier to balance that one weapon or two weapons opposed to the entire series of weapons due to the fact that you have a 3v3 game mode, a 1v1 game mode, a 2v2 game mode, a 5v5 game mode, 1v1v1v1v1v1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 game mode, if I said enough 1v1s. It's going to be a really nice way for players to feel a balance in Crucible just having a 4v4. It's going to have easy changes, really nicely structured, and for the people out there that want competitive play and want to do tournaments, when private matches come out, it's going to be much easier across the board to have tournaments when every single game mode is 4v4. Because that also allows you to set up teams that are strictly 4v4 and play any tournament game mode that you want. So, I feel like Destiny 2 will actually go to game battles, or MLG, which is going to be pretty awesome for a lot of people out there. Now, don't worry, for the non-competitive players, it's going to be really well balanced and it's going to feel really nice because of the way it's structured, so don't worry too much about it. Moving into number 5, Revisioned Patrol. This is probably one of the big ones as well. The patrols in Destiny 1 were bland, boring, and unexciting. They felt repetitive, there was barely anything to do, and when you had to go do a quest in patrol, it was so boring and daunting of a task that you just didn't want to complete that one quest. So you may not have gotten the Dark Drinker. You may not have gotten the Raise Lighter. Because those quests in patrol, just going around opening up treasure chests, was one of the most boring things that Bungie could ever have added into the game. But now that we have adventures, we have treasure maps, we have huge giant open world patrols that we can expand. We can go from planet to planet without ever entering orbit. And we can go to anywhere in the game without ever hitting a loading screen. So, this is going to be pretty amazing. I can't wait to jump into Destiny 2 and just go into the patrols and explore. Go to an, a, a mysterious lost sector. Go down to the delve, kill a boss, open up a treasure chest, get some awesome loot, run around the map for a little bit more, find something I've never seen before, open up a chest there, 
get an exotic. It's going to feel pretty exciting. And there you have it, Guardians. That's the five things I feel that are going to make Destiny great again. Moving from Destiny to Destiny 2, these are five things that will make the game great. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you have any comments or opinions, leave them down in the comment section. I'll try to get back to as many people as I possibly can. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Also, share it with your fellow Guardians. Also, subscribe to the channel today for future Destiny content and Destiny 2 information as it comes up. And as always, huge shout out to my patrons. If you guys want to join the Patreon, the link is in the description of this video. Also, follow me on Twitch. I've been doing live streams recently. We'll also see everyone at Guardian Con in just a couple of days if you're going. So, Tampa Bay, Florida, going to be pretty exciting. But as always, Guardians, stay violent, be privileged. Oh, hi. BBG isn't here right now, but I guess you enjoyed the content. So over there is the logo you can click on. That will allow you to subscribe. More content up there. And behind-the-scenes daily content over here on the vlog channel. There you go. Enjoy.